And I'm Pascal. And that's Dylan over there. Hello. We're close friends with Nancy Drew's robot puppy, who should be here any second now. Look, here comes robot puppy now. There you are. Hello to you too. Oh, I agree. Robot puppy wants you to tell them about the cool saying you learned the other day. Yeah, firewall away. <laughs> A ship is safe in port, but that is not what ships are built for. Sail out to sea and do new things. I like that. Me too. This was actually a motto that one of the first supercoders lived her life by, and she was a big reason for why computers like us can talk to each other today. Interesting. Who was this supercoder, Ruby? Let's investigate. Well, let's see. Here are the clues that we have to work with. She was born almost 110 years ago on December 9, 1906. She graduated from Vassar and Yale universities. She served in the Navy for over 40 years, eventually becoming a rear admiral. And this supercoder is often referred to as the mother of COBOL. Well, what is it? COBOL stands for Common Business Oriented Language. It's a form of coding that reads like English. In fact, that's why this supercoder encouraged its creation. She believed that programming should be as easy to understand as English. Do you know where COBOL is used, Pascal? Oh, you can find it everywhere. When you use your parents' phone or tablet, when your dad buys tickets online so you can see a movie, when your mom stops at a traffic light, all of these use COBOL. And those aren't the only places you'll find it either. Right you are, Pascal. From the time when she was a girl, this supercoder loved to tinker and find out how things worked. She was curious and she was a problem solver. And that's just the kind of thinking that coders use all the time. So what's next? After some investigating, it looks like our supercoder is... Grace Hopper. Wow, we did it! Way to go, supercoders! Let's recap. Grace Hopper was one of the first supercoders. Among her many accomplishments, she played a big role in the creation of the COBOL coding language, which can be found in technology all around us. Well, that about covers it, eh, Ruby? I think so. Got anything to add, Dylan? Actually, I have a question. Grace was one of the first supercoders, and she was a computer whiz. But is it possible that coding existed before computers? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Want to help Nancy and become a super coder? Head over to the Google Play, Amazon, or Apple App Stores and find out more today. <laughs>